Hello aspirants, welcome back to India for IAS. This is Manjunath Mudur. In this video, we are going to study about Aurora Lights in India. So recently the Aurora Lights were visible in Indian Union Territory of Ladakh. So we are going to study about what are Aurora Lights, why they are visible in India. This topic falls under GS3 paper, Science and Technology part. Within Science and Technology, the subtopic is Space Science. Space Science. So the topic is very important for UPSC and KPSC prelims. The reason being, so the UPSC asked uh, questions on Aurora Lights in the previous years, at least twice. So at least twice it asked questions on Aurora Lights. So this year it may ask again for reason being it is in use. So recently the Aurora Lights were visible from the Indian Union Territory, Ladakh. So they are even visible from Ladakh. So usually the aurora lights they are visible usually in poles both north and south poles. So in this case here the, they were visible from Ladakh. So this is the image which uh, shows the visibility of the aurora in the Ladakh. So aurora lights seen in Ladakh in red hues and this phenomena was observed on May 10th night that is between Friday and Saturday midnight. So astronomers from the Indian Institute of Astrophysics, they captured the aurora light using the sky cameras at the Indian Astronomical Observatory, which is located at Handley, Ladakh. So at Handley place in Ladakh, we have an uh, Indian Astronomical Observatory. So this is being operated by Indian Institute of Astrophysics. So this following image which is uh, shown here, it shows the aurora lights captured by Indian Institute of Astrophysics. So now the question arises, what are aurora lights? So we will discuss what are aurora lights and we also discuss why they are visible in Indian Union Territory of Ladakh. So now we will focus on what are auroras. Auroras are the bright and colorful li lights in the sky. So they are formed because of the interaction between solar winds and Earth's magnetosphere. So then what is solar winds? Solar winds are the charged particles which are ejected from the sun's atmosphere. So they mainly contain protons and electrons. So coming to the magnetosphere, it is the region around the Earth where the magnetic field dominates. So it protects Earth from solar winds. So it is stronger as the poles and it is uh, compared to equator, it is strongest at the poles and it is less strong at the equator. So the auroras are colorful lights which are formed at the sky because of the interaction of the earth's magnetosphere with the solar winds. So usually these aurora lights are visible at the polar regions that is north pole and uh, south pole, usually at the higher latitudes. That is latitudes uh, above 66 degree north and 66 degree south. So sometimes the solar wind particles which are ejected from the sun's atmosphere, so they interact with the earth's magnetic field. So during this interaction, the auroras occur. They mainly occur because of the interactions of the particles ejected from the sun with the atoms or molecules in the earth's at upper atmosphere. So when these particles collide, they produce light, which is similar to how electrons in a neon light, the electrons in a neon light, they collide with the gases to produce different colors, which you have seen in uh, many circus and other uh, fairs and festivals where they use neon lights to produce different colors. The same process occurs in the Earth's magnetosphere. So this is the typical aurora lights produced at the higher altitudes, sorry, higher latitudes. So visible in high latitudes near polar regions because of the interaction of the solar particles, solar particles ejected from the sun's atmosphere and uh, Earth's magnetosphere. So the next question is, so why were auroras visible from Ladakh? So usually they are not visible from the lower latitudes, that is in tropics and equator. 
So now why they are visible from the radar? So that is the question. The reasons are as follows. So the first thing is there is an increased intensity of solar activity in space. So this led to the visibility of the aurora even from radar. So this uh, solar flare activity. So it is mainly because of the coronal mass ejections. So these coronal mass ejections are from the active regions in the sun which produce the solar flare or solar storm that is high intensity solar flare and solar storms. So this coronal mass ejection it is a large scale ejections of magnetic particles and plasma from the sun's corona. So we have different layers of the sun the convective zone, radiative zone, then core. So then at the outer side we have photosphere, chromosphere and corona. So these solar flares that is coronal mass ejections they originated from the sun's corona region. So the structure of sun we have discussed while discussing the Aditya L1 mission. So you can go and watch Aditya L1 mission video. So there you will get the structure of the sun. So as already we have discussed the intensity of the incoming solar storms it was much higher than the average. So because of that we can witness the or we are able to see the coronal sorry that is auroras in the Indian Ladakh. So the different lights that are produced in the Ladakh region are red, violet and blue colors. So the visibility of the auroras from lower latitude regions is mainly because of the strong storms. So strong solar storms that is from that is because of the coronal mass ejections. So the similar intensity of solar storms affected the earth in November 2003. So in this uh, November 2003 also the auroras were visible from lower latitudes. So now the question arises why there are uh, large scale or high intensity solar storms from the corona that is coronal mass ejections. So what is happening inside the sun? Multiple magnetically active regions on the visible solar disk. So these regions they are producing multiple high energy flares. So this series of coronal mass ejections they are predicted to come for until May 12. So the event occurred on May 10. So it may continue for another two days that is what predicted. So the reason being the multiple magnetically active regions on the visible solar disk. So they are producing a series of coronal mass ejections. These solar storms they have potential to disturb the space weather. So they may also cause or disturbances in earth's magnetosphere. So they are expected to last for another two days that is until May 12. So while discussing the coronal mass ejections we came to know that they have potential to disturb the space weather and they also cause disturbances to the earth's magnetosphere. So now we will discuss how hazardous are these solar storms. So the intense solar storms they can be harmful they can threaten smooth operations of the satellites in low earth orbit. So low earth orbit means the orbit extending till 1000 km from the surface of the earth and these low earth orbit satellites they are used for navigation, military, intelligence and communication purposes. The earth satellite based systems like GPS it provides navigation this might be vulnerable to the solar storms. The highly energetic particles from solar storms can induce heating in the upper atmosphere. So this may increase the risk of radiation hazards on biosphere of the earth. So this may also cause drag effect on the low earth orbits, low earth orbit satellites. So the excessive drag can lead to the satellite burnout ceasing its operations completely. So this is all about the aurora lights why they were visible from LADA, the characteristics of the aurora lights, the phenomena behind the formation of aurora lights and uh, the coronal mass ejections and their harmful impact on the satellites. Based on the topic that we have discussed so far that is the phenomenon of auroras that are visible in the LADA. So here we have provided one films practice question. Go through the question and comment your answer. The answer and detailed explanation for this question is 
available in the PDF handout, which is available in the Telegram channel. You can join the channel and download the PDF. The PDF also contains the detailed notes of this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, happy learning.